Hello everybody and welcome back at Adobe Live. Happy Friday. Today we are here together to celebrate these two weeks of creative challenges in Adobe Illustrator. I'm your host, Claddy, and I'm streaming from Manchester, UK. Although, as you can probably pick up from the accent, I'm not British, I'm actually Italian. Uh, although I live here and there around the world right now in Manchester. I want to welcome everybody that is joining us as uh, live. I can see Cody, Jack, Axel, um, Katarina, and my mom in the chat. <laughs> Happy weekend, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with us. For those of you joining on the YouTube channel, welcome. If you have any question today is the day to ask question. We're going to spend the time recapping these two weeks of challenges i'm going to walk you through day by day and this gives you also time to submit your work to uh discord discord is our community channel in which you can uh, display your work in order to get feedback to show it off and of course to connect with the wonderful community here uh, at adobe live also, uh, if you do have not heard of it yet, Adobe Max is uh, coming really soon. And in fact, before we get started with the challenges, I'm going to hop into my screen and uh, I'm going to talk to you very quickly about Adobe Max. Adobe Max is the uh, creative uh, um, conference that is going to happen both online and live in uh, li the live uh, version of the event is going to be in Los Angeles is going to take place uh, from the 18th to the 20th of October. There is also a, a pre-conference, which is super fun, very active with a lot of labs. I'm one of the speakers. You can actually see me featured uh, in uh, the main page with so many other talented um, speakers and Adobe Guru. You can go ahead and search, and search the sessions uh, depending on the different subject that you want to learn. Is definitely uh, one not to miss the creativity injection that comes after Max is absolutely crazy. You have so much here. You see you have creativity and design, 3D and, and uh, AR, education, graphic design, photography, video, um, UI, so much going on. Uh, also, you will be able to have a different um, access to the session. So once you register, you can actually see the sessions as well. If you type in my name, I have three different sessions and I will be presenting here at Adobe Live also Photoshop. So go ahead and register. Uh, I think that there are some discounts available as well until the end of August. So make sure to take advantage of that. If you're not registered for the challenge yet, that is definitely the time to do it. Uh, here, uh, the challenges, uh, the creative challenges in Illustrator, you can access every replay and the starter file because each single one of these challenges that we've been uh, going through together in these two weeks comes with a starter file. You can find them on the behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator. That is the place where you can join the challenge, get your notification for your upcoming challenges. Cause after me, there's going to be some other amazing host that is going to come and guide you through in order to sharpen your skills in illustrator. You can uh, click on the video to watch the replay of each single uh, ch uh, challenge. So, if you haven't done it yet, you can take your time maybe during the weekend to catch up whenever you have your free time in order to watch the actual replay and you can get started by um, accessing the starter file. So every time that you click on get started, you will be uh, able to download and have access to the file that are provided for you here. Let me go ahead and make sure that I'm on the correct internet. Yes, I am. Perfect. So those are the challenges that we've already unlocked. We walk through each one of these challenges. I'm here with you today to basically go through each one of them briefly. But the whole objective of this time is to, of course, take uh, your questions during the live. So if there are any questions, um, please let me know here in the chat. I'm here to clarify. Maybe you did take part at any of these challenges and that was a step that wasn't really clear for you. You want me, you know, to reiterate or any of the specific challenges that you really, really like. Let me know in the chat. We can probably walk it through it again. We have um, about 20 other minutes at our disposal. So I'm here with you uh, to go through these amazing uh, challenges. 
So let's get started by challenge number one. And by the way, if you have started, maybe you want to finish up while I'm blabbing here, you can uh, uh, post your challenge on the challenge channel of the Discord page. You can see the Discord link behind me. It's bit.ly slash AI Discord. And uh, this is the place in which you can join our Discord community. As I say, this is our community where you can get feedback and uh, you can post your design. So we'll be able to also start oh in fact we can start maybe from this first one because uh, the first challenge was uh, how to create a menu for print and uh, i find this very very lovely so let me go ahead and see i don't know why my internet has been so slow today hannah lina um six months in my last daily creative challenge fun to be back that's my submission for challenge number one with clary design a print ready menu what a wonderful job i really love uh the way that she's uh, introduced illustration and a bit of type on a path at the same time because uh, there is so much contrast in between the illustration and the text uh although they are overlapped it's still very very clear to read the name of perhaps the restaurants and also what we've been doing is uh, uh learning how to split the text in two columns and how to style it using paragraph style in order to um just have a very fast approach in styling your text when creating lists so in this case we will have a title we will have the uh description of the food the name of the food and then again the actual description of uh, each plate as well i love the way the simplicity here of the background the contrast with the typeface very legible so important here uh, for our menu and then we have this little detail of illustration that comes along and just sort of brings everything together Probably the only thing that I will critique is the use uh, of hyphenation uh, in menu, especially because they're just, you know, few words in a single line. That's when I tend to do not use hyphenation. Hyphenation is very useful when you have um, like columns of text for menu. I tend not to use it. It can be confusing to break a few words. But otherwise, what a fantastic job. Um, Anna Lena really, really enjoyed it. So let me go ahead and scroll real quick, see if we can catch some more menu. Otherwise, we can jump into, uh, here we go, we have a Seaside Lunch Cafe. Perfect. Again, here we have uh, a shape that is uh, alongside uh, the text. A little bit more of uh, contrast, for example, here we'll probably go with a lighter text in order to really bring the name of the um, Seaside Lunch Cafe to light. Also, I would like to see either to have these two S aligned or maybe to have it in the center, but the rest looks absolutely fine uh, and there is enough contrast when reading the text. Stylus, great job and thank you for submitting it here at the challenge. Ooh, we have all the social media, the 3D bagel coming up. We have album covers. Let's see if I can spot some more menu. I know that the menu was at the very beginning of the week, so probably I really have to go up here. Let me see if I have... Uh, no, we don't have a scroll bar. I just have to scroll to the top. Let's see if we can find any more menu. Um, or maybe... Maybe not. I think that's probably... That's a happy hour chat. Here we go. But let's go back into our file. And let's see, starting here, as I said, that was the starter file. So if you have not taken part to this challenge, that absolutely fine you still have time to submit your challenge this is the starter file i also show if you go ahead and watch the stream again i actually demonstrate how to create the starter file by yourself we talked about the importance of having a bleed we have our layers with our guides that are very important uh, for us to in order to uh, have a nice layout and organize our content here we have layers that will help us organize special finishing maybe if we want some foil or some embossing uh, the logo that wants to stay on top of everything else then we have the outline text and the text and the place for the background and of course these are, are our guides where we explain what is a bleed safe area and margin that uh, of course we can hide and that's why the layer is named to hide because you want to make sure that you hide those before you go to print 
perfect. So if you are interested in learning how to create a menu ready for print, go and watch this recap. Remember, behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator is the place where you can actually um, get access to the, this particular video, this starter file, and you can crack on and get your menu ready for print. Let's see if there is any chat, any question in the chat. I think everybody's saying hello. Garrett, lovely to see you. Laura, ciao, ciao. Viola, ciao, nice to see you. And we have our lovely Cody as well. That was our second uh, challenge here. We have uh, our album. So the album was actually coming, they were mainly guides. We've been working so much here. We've been creating images, added blend mode, added texture with the blend mode. So we brought in the photo, created a gradient with the swatches panel, uh, used mask to mask part of the images to use inside our uh, vinyl, then browsed the text font.adobe.com in order to create text and overlap it. And then used some of these uh, elements that I provided for you in order to create this mock-up ready for your portfolio. One more to say, if you do want to work in the music industry, this is something that you really want to add to your portfolio. Remember, your portfolio is not about the numbers of work. Nobody's interested in seeing at, or has the time to see hundreds and hundreds of pieces of artwork. It's more important that you have few pieces, but they really make your skill stand out. And also, not only your skill, but the project that you are interested in being hired for. There is no sense, even if you're an amazing illustrator, but you find illustrating boring, then do not put that illustration piece inside your portfolio, vice versa. If you are and you're looking forward to be hired for a project into the music industry or in illustration, make sure that you spend some time to refine a project that represents your ideal job and you have at least one high refined project in your portfolio that reflects the job that you want to be hired for. So here we go. That's challenge number two. Again, if you head to our challenge, uh, um, behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator. Again, here you can watch the video so you can see step by step. How did we get to the final point? And of course, you can get the starter file we already provided for you a template with guidelines uh, that will give you an idea of how the shape of the record looks like third day we were using 3d we had a little bit of a hiccup with my computer overheating so perhaps now i can show you a little bit more uh here we used first of all shaped we ungrouped the shape and then we use this shape to um literally create the bagel i'm just gonna go ahead and create a simple pull bagel for now so we simply use these shapes and then use the pathfinder uh, or the shape builder tool in order to create the actual bagel i think that i'm just gonna do a couple drops here just to show you real quick uh, before you go ahead and you start the 3D, of course, you want to apply the color uh, if that it's applied for, uh, to, your, um, to your design. In order to get a look like mine, I know many people were asking, how do you get the beautiful reflection in 3D? All that is, is that metallic um, uh, effect. So I'm just going to go do something real quick. I apologize. Probably it's going to be the most ugliest bagel you ever seen in your life uh but here it is so here we have our shapes all i'm left to do is to make sure that i apply color maybe we can actually unite all of these in one single shape as i said we're using the pathfinder tool and then i'm just gonna make it pink and then i'm gonna make these uh, uh bagel shape color of the dough something like that perhaps and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the stroke away on both of these elements right so all you're left to do here is to access our brand new worth of mention 3d material workspace that will allow you to inflate any shape and uh, therefore you can very quickly uh, create this uh, amazing 3d effect so here we go we have now the effect applied and you can go ahead and uh, play with many different presets uh, don't forget to group first and also it's really cool to inflate the object both sides and then you can work with its depth so you can make it as depth as you want and also uh, with this volume that's perhaps is quite of a large bagel i'm gonna make it a little bit less 
depth um, and of course the volume is uh, uh, regulate the extrusions as well so uh, I'm gonna give you time I have a lot of file opens because we are literally recapping all our um, challenges here but you got you got the gist here then you can change the lighting you can change its intensity you can change the rotation from where the light comes from and uh, of course you can also apply shadows behind or below the object uh, all i will definitely recommend you to uh, ever play is such a fun way to to work uh, with 3d you can achieve so much it's so so interesting to to work uh, with 3d and of course with rotation you will see once you change uh, where the light comes in also the uh, shadow will change as well as you can see fantastic so uh, then let's jump into the next challenge because the time goes way too fast here with this challenge we actually recreated uh, all the template for you to have uh, pretty much a starter file for your Instagram campaign. Uh, the result was uh, something like that. So this is a file that you can open at any time and then you can just get rid of the sample and you literally have here, we actually, I think we named the um, actual artboard here it is so we have the instagram story 1080 parenting 20 um we have the instagram real cover and so on now the beauty of creating this file uh is that we saved it as a template so a dot ait file the beauty of the template is that every time that you open it up you start from scratch so you can create a copy and use it for anything that you want now let's move on because the time is ticking. I can believe it goes so fast. Again, this is the starter file. If you go ahead to uh, behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator, you will be able to access this template that I provided for you that you can use to create your own artboards that are perfect for your Instagram campaign. You get all the measures there. So everything is ready to go. Then we started to create some type. That was my final result. My um, my type called gestalt k uh, we also talked about font self which is an extension that you can uh, purchase i think is one fee uh that is that you can al allow you access forever to this amazing extension is not built by adobe but is verified and you can integrate it inside your illustrator so it doesn't come as a default you can find it at uh, just simply google font self and you will see it's very easy to download and then to open it and once you install it, it will find it automatically under window extension and font self maker. Font self will allow you to save your own font. So whenever you create um, a font or a shape here, you have some of the fun that we were having with these shapes. All you have to do is to make sure that you drag it inside uh, your character creator. And then there you can create a specific uh, character and have all the different glyphs all you're left to do is then is to add a specific letter and that letter will be then used so once you can download this font as an open type then you can literally use whatever illustration as you made and you associate it to a letter you can literally type with it with your keyboard so uh, if you go ahead and look at that specific video you can learn how to create your own font i have to go fast because the time is ticking and we have a couple more more challenges here we talked about recolor and the power of edit um edit colors and recolor artwork but in, uh, specific of the color theme picker that will allow you to change the color of any vector art by picking a color theme from one or more images in just a click this feature is super powerful again if you dive in into the actual video i went really in depth talking about the color wheel the prominent colors and then the advanced options and so on i think that's definitely one not to miss it really helps you to uh, work faster when and creating different color variation of your illustration or any sort of art and also if there is a specific color or a specific theme that you want to approach that is the perfect tool 
Then we talked about sticker, how to draw using the pencil tool and the uh, knife tool to create and split shapes. So here there was an original shape, then we split it, we got created the tummy uh, of our little dino, then we applied color, and then we talked about how to uh, make sure that we create guides using shapes. So we were able to have uh, these uh, uh, guides here that perhaps you cannot really see against this blue background. Here we go. So these guides uh, to make sure that you know your safe area when creating a round sticker even if you're working on a square artboard and uh, also how to create a sticker that is a cutout and how to make your uh you know your relationship with your printer a good one because in this case what a printer wants is to make sure that all these little hole and hollow spaces where you have your cutouts get actually covered by a border so go ahead and watch this stream if you're looking to create your own <clears throat> your own sticker that is the one for you both to create round stickers square stickers and of course uh <clears throat> cutout stickers eps is the best way <clears throat> excuse me eps is the best way to send it to the printer they will know what to do but i always recommend you to ring up your printer and make sure that you learn from them what actually is the best for them to to do with the with the actual file and then yesterday there was i believe last of our stream let me make sure that i actually run through uh, our entire uh, list of challenges we talked about the album cover using 3d recolor arrow with a click custom sticker and custom gradient so here with a custom gradient we talked about how to create a color palette using color.adobe.com i think it should still be open uh, on my computer here yeah so we have this image we were able to lift the color bring it inside uh, our library and then having access to them inside our libraries panel and then we went and we used the gradient in particular the free form gradient in order to um, apply these amazing uh, colors to it so we actually applied a gradient to, to to our shape and then as you can see here is hidden because we are in trim view so here it is uh, we created this lovely gradient taking color directly from our images and also i showed you how you can edit them so as you can see here each uh, one of these gradient as different color spot you can add a color spot double click on it select a color from the swatches panel or use the eyedropper tool to pick a color from your images and that works fantastic if you have a, a specific brand or specific campaign that comes with a set of images or a company logo or a company branding that comes with a color palette you have two options you can save the color thanks to color.adobe.com or capture and save it inside your libraries so they are right there always available for you organized and ready to be shared with your entire team and available for you anywhere and in other uh, any other creative cloud app or you can simply uh, if it's probably a standalone project so you just need you know to uh, grab the color from the specific image as i said press the letter g to edit your gradient double click on it and then use the eyedropper tool and again lift the color from any image you want so this is also uh, a stream by the way very last thing you can also save these uh, assets these gradient assets and then uh, but simply by dragging it inside the library and then they will be available for you so for example if you're doing a presentation in design or something in photoshop you can save it and then have this wonderful gradient at your disposal for any project as i said all of this is available for you on uh, our behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator click on watch video to watch the video that best resonate with your project and what do you need in order to uh, sharpen your skills and also create new project for your portfolio get the starter files in order to uh, have a jump start to your project there are many that are made available for you if you want to learn more i have my instagram um, where i publish tutorials um every single day nearly at least four weeks at least four days a week um i publish tutorial let's see if that's gonna let me log in into my page and uh, here you will see uh, that i have many tutorials in photoshop illustrator sometimes in express as well there are one minute tutorial for you to learn new skills and talking about instagram here at adobe live there is a, a brand new instagram um also so make sure to go ahead and uh, um 
follow at Adobe Live so you will learn more about all the wonderful stream that are always here at Adobe Live because there is always so much to learn. And in fact, right after me now, unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. First of all, thank you so much for sticking around for these two weeks. As usual, it's been my total pleasure to be here with you. There is an Adobe XD Masterclass with the wonderful Howard Pinsky and so much more coming up in Fresco and Photoshop. We have a Masterclass in Illustration. Adobe Live never stops with uh, all these talented creative that keep busy to offer you uh, wonderful strategies for you to express yourself with these amazing apps. Don't forget that the credit challenges are going to come back. I will be back with how to every Tuesday. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, for now is uh, ciao, ciao.